From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big evening. Evening, evenings, LA, with incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2022 as the President of the United States arrives in Brussels and that arrival brings up the six stimulus package. All the latest you need to know across the board tonight as the President unveils, yes, exactly what I said he would do at Brussels, a six stimulus package. But the great news we're gonna lead with, of course, is that big second stimulus package and third and fourth. The third stimulus package is now paying out an MSC and I'm gonna show you how to get it. The fourth stimulus is paying out fifteen dollars to $80,000, and I'll show you how to get it as well. The seventh stimulus package is going to a May 2nd deadline, and that is for student loan debt forgiveness. And the sixth stimulus is going to a vote as early as April. A lot of money in tonight's recording. What's an issue? First, Build Back Better Act, the fourth stimulus recon you've heard about. But have you heard about these big MSC checks, a third stimulus? They've landed. The membership of this channel has gotten it. Average $2,000 sent out by Joe Biden for 12 months. Then, have you heard about those $40,000 to $80,000 of forced stimulus checks? They've landed, and the average view of this channel has gotten about 60,000. It's forced stimulus checks tonight. Then, have you heard about six stimulus? It's going to potential vote in April, and it tees up the Putin cause stimulus. Finally, have you heard about that student loan debt forgiveness going to a May 2nd deadline with the president determining whether to forgive the debt or not? And then finally tonight, have you heard the next part of the equation? Yes, as if that was not enough, another stimulus package is debuted today. And what is that stimulus package? It is a monthly stimulus check, but is it anything to write home about? I'll analyze in tonight's recording. Yes, Congress introduced a new monthly stimulus check program tonight, but it's not something to laugh about. We will be laughing about it later in this video. <laughs> the details you need to know, is that there's a lot of money happening and from the shores of the Black Sea to the shores at home, you're watching the most watched show for financial news in prime time. It's all here, it's all right happening right now. Big sums of money, inflationary concerns, economic concerns, what you need to know, heat up right now as Eatings LA gets on away from Santa Monica, California. Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. We are here in the shores of Santa Monica, California, with a big evening's LA podcast. It's a lot to digest in one night, but boy, we are going to tackle it. Third stimulus checks landing, fourth stimulus MS, fourth stimulus checks landing, and sixth, seventh, all heating up. Boy, we have a big night across the board. We're going to look at what the president said in Brussels just minutes ago. It's huge for your sixth stimulus. We're going to go over that legislation that the senators introduced for new stimulus checks just minutes ago, and I'll have a laugh about it with you because as members of this channel, you're cleaning up. I'm going to show you how to get $80,000 of checks from fourth stimulus today. It's a big night, but first we're going to go over the first of many clusters of checks to be covered tonight. We're going to go over first Build Back Better Act. That Build Back Better Act is the fourth stimulus recon landing in the Senate. And that fourth stimulus recon has lots of checks. It's not a law yet. It is in the Senate. And there's fifteen dollars to $80,000 of checks in there. Remember that number because we're going back over it later in this video. Those big Build Back Better Act checks have three clusters and three add-ons. Let's look at them one at a time. Here we go. In that first of three clusters of the Build Back Better Force Simmons Recon, there is Hazard Bay. One more year of the earned income tax credit, and then $3,600 for the young children, the CTC, one more year. $4,000 of elder care, $4,000 of care for young children. Then they got the big money in there for home repairs if you live in a low-income community. Plus money for nutrition, $500 checks for college students for the Pell Grant, and then $12,500 for the purchase of a new electric vehicle. That is the first cluster of three in the Build Back Better Act. 
Then we turn to the first add-on at checks comes from the illustrious Maxine Waters, just a little bit less than $25,000. Wow. This is money that would be given to the seller in your name at the time of escrow for the purchase of your first home. Incredible. Just incredible. They got it in there. That is the Build Back Better Act. When we turn to the second cluster of checks, we get even more money. And what do you need to know? Here we go. In that second cluster of checks, we have home repairs to weatherize your home and pay to leave, which is a lot of money, four to $6,000 a year if you work at W-2, 10 or 9 And if you don't work, then if your son or daughter does work and take you to the doctor, you'll get that check as well as a household. How much? $70,000 or more or less per year, then it's about $1,700 a week. $35,000, $800 a week, $14,000, then about $400 a week. Yes, you get it. Huge. That is the second cluster checks in the Build Back Better Act, the Four Symbols Recon. As we turn to now the second add on of checks, $250 billion from Bob Casey. Got it in there for free home health care for seniors and people on disabilities. As we turn now to the third cluster of three in the Build Back Better Act, let's look at those incredible checks, seniors and free internet. Farmers checks, independent contractors checks, and then nutrition checks, but the seniors cleaning up lots of checks for you. Dental, vision, hearing, lowering the eligibility age of Medicare, and then and then the Medicaid gap fix, and of course, the hearing checks. Yes, lots of checks. When the senators vow they're going to add in checks, the other checks they did vow in to add in there, of course, is a third add-on. MSC. These are monthly IRS stimulus checks. Now, in a second, we're going to go over those third stimulus MSC checks, which have landed. But we're currently in the fourth stimulus Build Back Better Act part of this recording. Who would get these? Third stimulus recipients would get them again. Single individuals, $75,000 or less, you qualify, says the legislators. $150,000 or less, married couple, you get it, double it. Family of four, quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, you get it as well. It is not income. It's not taxable. It's offered nationwide. It goes off the most recent tax return if you had one, and that's how you get it by direct deposit, otherwise in the mail. And that is the Build Back Better Act MSC checks. Now, let's explain what's important to remember where we are in this recording. So far, we have gone over just the first of many stimulus packages to be covered in this recording, many of which are paying at the same time right now. Stay with me, because I have a lot of checks that are paying right now. Build Back Better Act, currently in the Senate, not law. And that you just saw was an add-on of monthly IRS stimulus checks where they're sent out from IRS. Not law in the Senate. Well, guess what? Third stimulus has MSC checks. It is law, and they're landing, and viewers have gotten it. It's coming up later in this recording. Yes, that's the difference. Third stimulus MSC checks are law, have been paid, and they have been sent out. The average payment is incredible. $2,000 for 12 months compared to Build Back Better, which is not law, of six months, $1,000 after the first month. Big difference. Now, let's turn to that CR for stimulus, breaking details on that, which is that Joe Biden got this one right. The continuing resolution passed three weeks ago, the CR, and they, they used that discretionary funds in there, but they did not use any of it on COVID. The president's not happening, and he's right. Why is he right? Because a subvariant to Omicron is now spreading across the country, and the president has no money to battle it. So the president wants to come back with another spending bill in the next few days. I'll watch it. And there could be a check in there. There may be room for a check in there. The CR that passed for the month of March did have county stimulus in there. So if you want that county stimulus, reach out to your local officials or newspapers. I don't cover it on this channel. Now, that is Build Back Better, and that is CR. Breaking news today about that SS300. SS300 was a campaign promise from Joe Biden and a presidential platform to raise your benefits up based upon a new benchmark. That new benchmark is inflation, not COLA. Let's go over what you need to know. Your benchmark has been COLA for many, many years. COLA doesn't move, and inflation does move. Its highest price point has been now of a generation. 8%, potentially higher. I predicted it last year when I said it's going to go to 8% in December. It did. And then I said it was not going to be temporary. It is not. It tracked at 8% it tracked at 8% for January. And right now, for March, bond traders and myself believe it may be higher than 8%. That's why they've been the trend, they've been trading up the 10-year treasury note higher. 
So you want Joe Biden to make that Joe Biden to make that phone call to that Social Security administrator to swap cola for inflation because if you locked in inflation right now at eight percent, guess what? You had the highest lock-in price point of a generation. Eight percent, you're never going to see that inflation rate for another many many years. If you get that lock in, what happens? Your benefits raise out $200 a month now, not just this month, a lifetime. Because once your benefits go up, they never go down. In December, they would reassess your benefits based upon where inflation is going to be then. And Jay Powell, your head of the Federal Reserve, said that inflation rate would come in about 4% in December last month. But here's what you need to know. A major pivot by that guy, Jay Powell, head of the Federal Reserve, in recent days. Let's take a step back. Jay Powell's job is to reduce inflation. And you want Joe Biden to lock in your benefits now when inflation's high, before inflation goes lower. What's at issue? You can raise your benefits up $200 a month now when inflation's 8%. If inflation gets lower because Jay Powell reduces it, then you don't lock in $200. You lock in $180, $170, $150. So you want Joe to make that phone call right now. But what's the breaking news with Jay Powell? Jay Powell gave us trajectories last month. He said that over the next five FOMC meetings, he's doing a, a quarter basis point increase, aka 25 basis point, indefinitely to see if that works to reduce inflation. Then at the FOMC meeting just days ago, he said, you know what? I'm doing quarter and I'm going to stay at quarter for now and I'm trying to reduce it to 1.9% inflation by the end of the year. Oh boy, that's not what we heard. We were told a month ago, we were told 4% by the end of the year. More about that in a second. But what happened in the last few hours? In the last few hours, Jay Powell said, you know what? Quarter may not work. We may have to do 50 basis point, aka half a basis point. What's at issue? That could bring down your interest rates faster and nullify the potential of SS200. It would be SS190 or 180. So what happened with Jay Powell? Jay Powell heard that heat. That heat came from his Fed governors like Wallace and Boulard who said, quarter ain't going to work. We need to do more. And they wanted 50 basis points. Hard landing, soft landing. Hard landing means coming in with a jackhammer to reduce inflation right away. Soft landing means coming in softly and reducing it slothly over time. That's what Wall Street wants. That's what I want. And that's what Jay Powell had said just days ago. But then he pivoted. What did he pivot to? Well, here we go. Jay Powell, before the National Association for Business Economics this week for March 21st, he said, we'll take the necessary steps to ensure price stability. And in particular, if we conclude that the appropriate move is to move more aggressively than 25 basis points, then we'll do so. And in determining we'll do beyond measures of neutral. And with that, I'll continue to monitor the supply chain healing for times to come. But for now, it's widely understood that the situation is very fluid. What does that translate? The situation tonight for March 24, 2022, is that most Wall Street analysts and myself think that j Powell has gotten wrong, doesn't have it right, and doesn't have the tools to reduce inflation. So what does this mean for your SS300? It means that if Joe Biden makes a swap from cola to inflation now in March, you're fine. It makes a swap in early April, we're also fine. It makes a swap in late April, I think you're now fine, changing my projections no less than a week ago. But what about May? Very fluid. Why? Here's what you need to know, is that when you look at that May situation, it's very unclear, number one. Many analysts, including myself, think that Jay Powell does not have the tools to reduce inflation, that he can only talk it into existence. He can only talk a lower inflation rate in existence. Why? Because they're caused by supply chain in China and Russia, and he may not be able to get that, get that number down. Number two, I'm a little bit concerned about that December number, because guess what? 1.9% ain't anything. That's $50 more per month. I want that 4% by the end of the year. That would be an additional $100 on top of what happens now. So hashtag Joe make the phone call. Swap that cola for inflation and raise it up $200 right now and lock in that $100 later this year before j Powell changes by May. There you go. Now, here is the fascinating twist of events, series of them starting right now. Third stimulus is now paying MSC checks and viewers have gotten them in their hands. Yes, congratulations to the incredible membership of this channel who have gotten third MSC checks in their hands. They have also now gotten fourth stimulus checks in their hands. 
huge ones, fifteen to eighty thousand dollars. If you want to know how to get them, they're coming up in just a second on this channel. But what you need to know if you're new to this channel is the following: is that multiple stimulus packages happen at the same time. They overlap and they pay out at the same time. Where is the trajectory tonight for March twenty fourth, twenty twenty two? Let me give you an update of what's coming up in tonight's video. First. Third MSC checks paid out right now. I'm going to show you how to get them. Second, fourth stimulus, fifteen to eighty thousand dollars checks paying out right now. I'm going to show you how to get them. Third, we now have this six stimulus really heating up. I had debuted this back on the channel. I think it was March 10th. And tonight, the President of the United States dressing at the situation in Brussels. This is likely to happen in April, so it's likely to overlap with this in April. Then we have seven stimulus. Seven stimulus is that student loan debt forgiveness. Debuted last night in that March 23rd recording of this channel. Seven stimulus is student loan debt forgiveness, which has a deadline of May 2nd. So that would overlap with all this in May. And then SS300, all those elements would lap over as well. What about the fifth stimulus for seniors and people on disabilities? The reforming the Social Security Administration, that's likely after this. What about Build Back Better, fourth stimulus? When would that happen? It would overlap. It would be either in April or May, presumably. I don't think it's going to get the done this month. Wow, really fascinating across the board. So let's go into the situation with those big checks that have landed. Yes, Joe Biden has sent out checks. Yes, the membership of the channel has gotten it. And yes, you can get it as well. Let's separate them out one at a time. The first one is a monthly stimulus check from third stimulus. Now, let's slow it down. This is different than the Build a Bank Better IRS MSC checks. Those are not law. and Those have not been sent out. Third stimulus is law. It became law in 2021. And these third stimulus MSC checks have gone out, and the viewers have gone to them. The average payout, you're ready for this, 12 months of $2,000. Incredible. Joe has sent them out. Now, this is for both renters and homeowners, so it's incredible. It's coming up late in this video. The fourth stimulus checks that have gone out are in addition, are in addition to the Build Back Better fourth stimulus checks that would happen later this month or next month or the month thereafter. These checks for fourth stimulus have gone out are for homeowners. And they are fifteen to eighty thousand dollars. Incredible. Six stimulus would be for all of you. Seven stimulus, of course, would be for the students. That student loan debt forgiveness, boy. And later in this video, oh man, at the very end of this video, I have my commentary about the new multiple stimulus check bill that was introduced today. It's a joke. <laughs> And I will joke about it. It's coming up later in this video. If you think you're going to buy the barn with this, no, you're not even going to buy the hay in the barn. <laughs> if you like bacon, you're not even going to get a taste of anything from this one. It's coming up later in this video. But first, here's a little bit about the members community page. Learn everything you need to know. And if you want, reach out to them. But first, become a member. The link's at the top of the chat and in the pinned comment. You want to become a member to get those incredible third stimulus MSC checks and fourth stimulus checks for members coming up later in this video. But here we go. It's a big night. And from the shores of Santa Monica to the shores of Black Sea, we have a lot coming up in tonight's recording. A lot of breaking news. All the latest details from Brussels and across the board. But first, here's a little bit about the members community page. See you back in 60 seconds as a big evening's LA goes into its second half tonight across the board. Boy, it is a big night. See you back in 60 seconds as evening's LA continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook Twitter and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA 
LL8 returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues in a big second half of evening tonight from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Welcome to America's most watched show in prime time for financial news. It's Evening Daylight. You're going to know why tonight. There's no less than seven potential stimulus packages covered in tonight's recording and I'm going to cover yours. So get your pen and paper ready. Here we go. And of course, we'll go over the latest details of that six stimulus that heated up in Brussels today. Huge details that you need to know. And let's get to them right now. First, we're going to recap where we are across the board. A lot of details to go over one at a time. First, that continuing resolution will get another round of the pony ride. Why? Because the president is not happy he got no money for COVID. So the press secretary to the president says he's going to do another social spending bill. Will he get passed? I will see. My biggest concern at this point is that we do need we need to get something done, supported in the Senate. The White House is out of money at this point, and the fight for global vaccination war. We need to get this done, says a Democrat from Illinois, a new comment obtained by Allied News. Jen Psaki, the president's press secretary, also said last week, we need more money. Our assessment is we need additional funding. They do. That Omicron subvariant will be the dominant strain in the United States by at least the end of this week, potentially. So there's no money for the White House, but likely to do that within days when he comes back from Brussels. And that could potentially have a stimulus check in there. Then the Federal Reserve really leaving us in limbo. Is the Federal Reserve going to come in more aggressively? Certainly those comments by Jay Powell would cause a lot of people concern if SS300 is in jeopardy. I think we're fine for early to late April. It's that May situation that's very problematic. But when we see these comments from Wallace and Bullard every single day, it just gets a little bit disconcerting. So the sense is that we need to front load to put some more rate hikes in, which would imply 50 basis point at multiple means in the near future. That is Wallace saying, hey, need to come in with a hard landing. I think they're dangerous. I think these are very dangerous hard landings because a hard landing means hit this economy with a hammer. And if you do, it may crack and send us into stagflation. Okay, then the big other details you need to know is that the Build Back Better Act had that incredible correspondence exchange between the White House and those legislators in the last seven days. And that commentary by the president that Americans need money. And you can see later in this video why the Democrats are now really using oil as a way to get other pieces of legislation passed. Maybe Build Back Better Act has that oil ammunition, that's a bad expression, but that oil, that oil issue to really get over the finish line. It's big across the board. And with that, let's go right into those four stimulus checks and third stimulus checks. Let's do the fourth first. You got your pen and paper ready? I hope you do. Take notes. Here we go. Build Back Better Act, currently in the Congress, is not a law. It is the fourth stimulus package. But out of nowhere, four weeks ago, on a Friday, the president made law an ancillary piece of legislation that will pay fifteen dollars to $80,000 of checks to you under a fourth stimulus add-on. What is it? I call it the homeowner's grant. And the great news is you can get it, and viewers have gotten it. Countless viewers of this channel have gotten the payout, like Mark, who's gotten $66,000 in the last seven days. And countless other viewers getting their application on file and being told it's approved. So where do you, what is this? It's called the homeowner's grant, and the eligibility is great because it's like a third stimulus check. Single individual, $75,000 or less, you can get it. Married couple, $150,000 or less, you can get it. Family four, you can get as well. Unlike a stimulus check, you don't double, triple it, or quadruple it. It is fifteen dollars to $80,000 a household, number one. Number two, you can get it if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, or railroad benefits. And veterans, yes. If you're with that, within that income qualification, you can get it. So what is the only last remaining qualification? You own a home. If you're a renter, stay with me because I got you those third stimulus MSC checks. It's incredible. So here we go. How do you get this big homeowner's grant? Step one, go to the top of the channel, the video, or below the description of the video, and become a member. Become a member today to get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday. 
7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time via the YouTube alert system. Open the membership newsletter and follow along with me when you get it, because guess what? It delineates how to get it. First, it has the whole name of the program. It's longer than the homeowner's grant. Number two, it has the income qualification we just went over and then has other information. Number three, it explains what you can use the money for, like home repairs and property taxes. Incredible. And number four, it gives you the link to apply. You'll get a link to go right in the, for the online application. It's not by mail. It's not by phone. It's only online. You go right in and send you to the national directory, which then sends you to your state, and you are ready to pounce. Now, here's what you need to know. The applications have been live since Friday four weeks ago, and thousands of people in every single state have applied. Almost every single state is still open with the exception of New York, which is on a waiting list. So you want to become a member right away and get that application on file. You don't want to wait a second. Number two, you do not have to be behind on your bills. Number three, you don't want to think about it. Just get the application on file. It is a grant. It is not income. It is not a loan. So it's not a credit check. It would not disqualify you for the benefits and it's not taxable because it's not income. So what do you do? But get that incredible membership newsletter at the top of the channel on the pinned comment. It is delivered. Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, via the YouTube alert system. The YouTube alert system is not the LLA alert system. It's not by email, mail, or waveable check or waveable pig with bikini person at the beach. <laughs> you saw that last night on this channel in prime time. So become a member and get that incredible check today. All right, now let's turn to that third stimulus, MSE check. Let's step back for this and slow it down. For Stimulus Build Back Better Act, again, has a proposed, not law yet, proposed MSC check that's sent out from IRS. This is an addition to this. And yes, you may have gotten a third stimulus check of $1,400. This is an addition to that as well. What is it? It is for renters and it's for homeowners. And yes, if you've gotten other homeowners assistance from four stimulus, which you just went over, or third stimulus on this channel, you can get this on top of that. Let's go over the incredible details. First, how did this happen? It happened by pure accident. It happened by pure accident by the members of this channel. That's why you want to become a member. In December 2020, I had been recording the importance of getting rent, utilities, and mortgage assistance because there was no second stimulus package. We didn't have it yet. We didn't have that CR for stimulus. Millions of Americans were watching this channel needed money. And I said, here it is. We didn't have a lot of money access at the time, $250,000 total for the entire viewership of the channel we got. But the good news, the greatest news, was I had a preview of an exclusive document on this channel. It was the third stimulus package. Yes. And I said, my goodness, look at this. There is the same program in there, but a lot more money for you. So I want to train you how to do this so that when third stimulus becomes law, you're going to pounce as a purple hawk. And that's where the expression came from. When it became a law, the viewers and the members pounce as purple hawks. And I said, you can get, you can get on average about $15,000 from this. Boy, folks, the people got more than $15,000 from this channel. They got an average $45,000. Look at these incredible numbers across the board. Many viewers getting over $100,000. Huge numbers. Like Mark, which we already featured early in this video, getting $100,000. Lorraine, one hundred five, who went to one forty-five thereafter. Just enormous sums of money. That is what happened at the time. Now, this is where it gets fascinating. At the time, I was telling viewers, get a round of this money. What is it? Rent assistance, property assistance, homeowners assistance. And I said, a round, you know, three to four months. They got it that spring. Then last summer, they got another round. Then last Christmas, I told them to get another round, and they did, three to four months. Well, what happened two weeks ago? The planets got realigned. As the members of this channel said, you know, LA, I'm not going to do another round. I'm just going to do the whole year. I'm going to do my own MSC check out of this. What a brilliant idea. Not my idea, the member's idea. And here came the success stories starting two weeks ago. Most recently, March 21st, Linda Ramirez getting $1,500 checks for 12 months. That's $500 and $1,000 every month. The $1,000 is her rent and the $500 is utilities. She is getting $1,500 for 12 months. Now, let's just stop there. This is a lot more than four stimulus IRS checks. Those are six months at, high, at the high end of $1,000 a month, here, which is about six dollars $7,000. Here we are at 12 months of $1,500. Lindsay's right in the money. The average view of this channel is getting 12 months of $2,000. Yes, Joe has sent these out. Yes, the viewers have gotten it. Olivia Summers takes it even higher. She got four years of monthly 
Third, stimulus checks amounting to $150,000. You heard me right. David Allen, a member of this channel for two months, got nine months of checks at $1,500 a month. Yes, that is over $10,000. Mr. Bean got $16,000 over nine months. Annabelle got six months. And then we have Morticia, who got several months. The success stories keep on coming in by the hour and by the day. We have Johnny Horafathen, who got $26,000 of MSC checks over eight months. That was on March 15th. Day after day, the success stories keep on coming in. Brian Graves, Toledo, Ohio, eight months uh, for those sums of money. So how do you get it? You're going to do the following. You're going to become a member, go to the top of the chat, open the membership newsletter, and follow along. If not, get that pen and paper ready. You're going to reach out to your city hall, your city house authority, your county hall, and your county house authority. And the keywords you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID, mortgage or utility assistance because of COVID. Three things you must do. You must reach out to all six places. You must do multiple, you must get multiple applications on file. And if you're a member, you must reach out to all the places plus the nonprofits. Let's go over that a little bit more in detail tonight. First, you are getting rent, utilities, and also homeowner assistance. So you're a renter, you get the rent stuff. If you're a homeowner, you get the homeowner stuff. Second, you must say the key words. Rent assistance because of COVID, mortgage utilities because of COVID, assistance because of COVID, or similar wording like that. You do not say MSC. They won't even know what you're talking about. You say those key words. Then, if you're a member of this channel, which I hope you are, you open that membership newsletter because you're not going to reach out to six places. You're going to reach out to 15 plus places because the membership newsletter includes, yes, the half dozen nonprofits. And they are incredible. Then you also have to remember, you can have about a 50% rejection rate. So if you have a rejection, that is good because you're also going to have a yes. Viewers like Johnny got $80,000 from his channel by making 15 phone calls, getting eight programs approved. Yes, that's how you rock and roll here. So there you go. Third stimulus MSC checks landing. Wow. Now, Congress has proposed today, yes, this is breaking news tonight, new MSC checks with a new bill. Yes. Am I considering it? No. Am I joking about it? Yes. When later in this video? Oh, it's coming up. Is it something you should go and buy a nice ice cream with? I don't even think it affords an ice cream. <laughs> it's that bad. It's coming up later in this video. Now, let's turn to the other details breaking tonight. Let's take a step forward to that seven stimulus, which broke last night on this channel, last night's broadcast, March 23rd, 2022. The Congress is not where a seven stimulus package would happen. It's where the president would do it. And the president would do this by student loan debt forgiveness. But how? Well, the president has now set an inherent deadline of March, excuse me, May 2nd to determine what to do student loan debt forgiveness. This would not be a check but it would be a determination what to do. And he has given to himself two options. One, student loan debt has been frozen under COVID since start day one of COVID. And that unfreezing, meaning you have to start paying your debts again, happens May 2nd. So he wants to make a determination on student loan debt forgiveness before that day. What is his other option? Forget the debt. Now, a series of analyst news reports that are headlined by education expert Mark Kranowitz says, that the president has a lot of tools in the executive branch not to involve Congress. They include the ICR, the Income Contingent Repayment Plan. Basically, the plan allows the president to make modifications as to when you repay your debts, and the president can do it without even asking Congress. This is what Liz Warren and Chuck Schumer have asked for day one. They went to $45,000. The president has offered $5,000. there has been no budge on that negotiation, but this may be the big move. I like Kranowitz's analysis. Why do I love it? Because he says, go ahead, Joe, make the change because the Republicans don't have enough votes to undo it. Oh, that is really tricky. He basically says you would need two-thirds of the House and two-thirds of the Senate to challenge it, which is unlikely to happen. Go do it. What a great quote. And there you go. My opinion, I think Joe's going to do it, but he may roll it over a few more weeks because of everything that's happening with Putin and Brussels, which would mean you would have to repay the debt for a few more weeks. But this is fascinating. Again, that's seven stimulus. All right, let's go over the details tonight of what happened with six stimulus in Brussels. You know, it's always shocking. When I make a recording on this channel, day in, day out, about a very important subject matter, and then suddenly it's mentioned by... The President of the United States. Wow.
Tonight I can record for you that for the first time ever, my subject matter covered on this channel, covered really nowhere else, anywhere, in broadcast financial news, was announced by the president today. Incredible. Incredible. The six stimulus package came to form formation upwards of four weeks ago or three weeks ago. In about the second week of the now two-month-old Ukrainian-Russian war, we knew there was going to be a six stimulus package. And immediately I said, it's not going to be needed just for oil. It's also going to be needed by wheat. What did the president say today? Yep, the president, seemingly as though he had watched this channel, addressed world leaders and said, we need economic reform, not just because of oil. In fact, he didn't even mention oil. What did he meet, mention? He mentioned oil wheat. And he announced a major agreement by the United States to solidify that solution. Boy, folks, I can't tell you how excited I was to hear what I have discussed on this channel on Evening to LA every night for upwards of three weeks was admitted by the president. The president, in meeting with those world leaders overseas today in Brussels, said, you know what? Vladimir Putin has disrupted the wheat and grain industry because the Middle East and a lot of the Western allies get most of their wheat from Ukraine, and now they don't have it, they're going to have big economic problems. They're going to have food shortages. So the U.S. is going to pledge food to those countries. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's as though he was listening to this channel. Let me tell you what happened. Over the last three or four weeks, I told you you can't just serve, serve, you can't just solve oil. If you just solve oil, guess what? We're going to recession. Wheat is a big problem, and if you see wheat prices growing any higher, we're going to recession. Let's take a step back. When Vladimir Putin invaded Ukraine day one, I immediately said this is a big problem for commodities, especially wheat, because why? The Black Sea is a major region, not that's really at issue for oil, but for wheat and grain. That rich soil, the Black Sea, produces the wheat and grains that services the neighboring countries and the Western allies. And guess what? If they don't have wheat and grain, what happens? The prices go up. Well, they did. Every night, the membership newsletter features the price of wheat and grain. And if you've seen the movement on that wheat and grain in the newsletter nightly, oh my goodness, folks, it's been out of control. What happened? Well, countries like Egypt have 80% of their wheat and grain coming from Ukraine. And guess what? The farmers of Ukraine are not farming. They're defending their country. And that crop for this season's loss, number one. Annabelle asked me last night on Amy's LA, how bad is this? I said, it's very bad. First, the crop this season's gone. You can't harvest it because there's no one to harvest it. They're defending their country, the farmers. Next season's loss because you can't water the soil to prepare for next season because they're battling a war. And then the season at that could be lost if Vladimir Putin continues to cluster bomb the area. This is a major problem. And what happens with this? Exactly what I've been predicting over the last three weeks. I've been making this recording for three weeks about wheat and grain. That, while we produce wheat and grain in the United States, the price is going up because all that other wheat and grain over there is not available. The less of something that's available, the more it goes up. You cannot afford $7 a loaf for bread at the supermarket. One month or four months. And if it stays around, we're going to recession. So what did the President of the United States say in Brussels today? He said, we can't do this. He said that Exports from the Ukrainian agricultural zone, the lion's share, go to Africa and Asia and the Middle East. Exactly what I've been reporting, 80% to Egypt. And he says they're vulnerable to go into food shortage. There you go. In fact, we're now seeing some food shortage for wheat and grain on the East Coast, new reports say. So the White House, what they did was in that meeting with those Western allies in Brussels today, dedicated, not cash, but $11 billion dollars of food resources over the next five years to threaten any, to prevent any threat to food security and make sure there is no malnutrition in those countries caused by Vladimir Putin. There you go, step one to solving the big recessionary concerns. Now, is this enough to get six symbols package not done? No. Do you need six symbols package still done? Yes. Because guess what? The wheat prices are out of control. And tonight I have new analysis about this as well. You're going to be shocked. And I thought to myself, why didn't I forget this? This is so obvious. A new report today says the U.S. farming industry is about to go under. Why? 
they're making more money, right? Yes. If you're a farmer and you're harvesting the wheat today, you're making a lot more money on the revenue side because you can get more money for the wheat. There's less wheat to compare compete against. When there's a shortage, the price goes up, just like gasoline. So while their revenue saw higher on the on the on the farmer side, their cost side is going through the roof. Yes. Guess what? You can figure this one out as well. To harvest the wheat, what do the farmers have to do? They have to drive a truck, a tractor truck, and the gasoline for the tractor truck is going through the roof. And if you ever thought Vladimir Putin was a lot of full of, yeah, that stuff, guess what Vladimir Putin's biggest export is? One of his biggest exports. Manure. Yeah, if he thought he stinks, now you're really going to think he stinks. Vladimir Putin and all his propaganda is the big exporter of fertilizer. And now, with that not available as well, because who wants to smell his stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Vladimir Putin's fertilizer embargo is now costing it a fortune to be a farmer. And now the analysis says that the local U.S. farmers, the mom and pops, are really hurting. Even though the revenue side is way up, their cost side is going through the roof. And they don't know what to do. This could be a big problem as farming is down 35% year after year since 2008, a new report obtained by LH News tonight. Moreover, what about your breakfast cereals like Kellogg's and General Mills and Mondell's? There's big concerns that those could go through the roof as they, though they're not, you know, price point already. This is major problems. And this is why six stimulus is needed. So... Did Joe Biden do enough? He did something. Remember, when to battle recession, you have to stabilize your partner allies, but you also have to stabilize them in the United States. So the way I would do it is I would give farm subsidies to those farmers to alleviate the surplus, the, the, the excess costs on fertilizer and, and oil, and then give them subsidies to ramp up production or use the Defense Production Act. Because, guess, this is, this is a time of need. You need to ramp up production domestically to bring down that price of wheat domestically. Remember, if you solve everything else, like oil and gas, and suddenly your bread is going through the roof, everyone's going to recession in the United States because no one can afford $7 a loaf. We don't have to solve it just internationally. We also have to solve it domestically. And if we don't, we have a big problem. Where does six stimulus come from? Six stimulus, as detailed on this channel, over the last four weeks, debuted on the channel, I believe it was March 8th, was an alliance between France, Germany, and the United States. That alliance started when your Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, reached out to those partner allies and said, you know what? You need to get off of Russian products. They said, we can't afford it, specifically Germany. The U.S. said, you morally must get off of it. And then they said, you're right, we'll morally get off of it. But they also agreed that they have to debt spend. The concept of six stimulus is the following. The countries of Germany, France, and the United States, the progressive trifecta that's waiting to see if one of them, Macron in France, will be reelected in April, is going to debt spend, raise national debt to then spend money on their citizens. That is the concept of six stimulus. Why? Because you cannot afford what Putin has caused. What is six stimulus? Putin caused stimulus. COVID one caused one. First stimulus package. COVID caused the second stimulus package. The third and fourth is coming out of COVID. This is caused by Putin. The concept is very simple. Gasoline is unsustainable for you to afford in the United States. If it remains at current levels through the month of May. I've been recording that for now four weeks. And tonight, the situation for oil is much worse. How much worse is oil tonight? As we're almost going into April, and we're less than four away, weeks away from what I call doomsday recession. Remember, let's go over the analysis one more time. You cannot afford the current price of gasoline if it continues into May. We're four weeks away. So what's going on with the price of gasoline tonight? The national average detailed in the membership newsletter for AAA has come down a little bit, but the price of Brent crude internationally going through the roof. Roof on Wednesday or Tuesday went to 127. 127 a barrel, that's the highest we see on this channel since its formation. And today was 120, so it came down a little bit. Now, why is this not tracking down? It's very problematic. Some may think that insiders believe that that Russian deal is not going to happen. What's at issue? The President of the United States anchoring a major deal, inking a major deal with, with uh, Iran. If I said Russia, then I meant Iran. The Iranian deal stems from a 15-year-old negotiated element, and that negotiated element is called the JCPOA. 15 years ago, in the White House in Iran was trying to get that JCPOA done. It's a deal in which Iran would 
disarm their nuclear warheads, and then we allow Iranian oil back into circulation. Well, the great news is that there's a deal to get it done. The negotiators are Germany and France on behalf of the U.S. and Iran, the negotiations in Vienna. And they fell apart over two weeks ago when Iran, when Iran got an intervention from Russia, who said, wait a second, Iran, don't do it. We want to trade with you. If the U.S. won't let us trade with you, then don't do the deal. The U.S. came in and said, we'll let Russia trade with Iran. We just don't want Russia to trade with us. And so with that, Sergei Lazarov, the Russian prime minister, foreign minister, said, you can go do the deal, Iran. And they said, OK, we're going to do the deal. 1.5 million barrels from Iranian oil flooding world markets, including the U.S., by December. That would be what you get. Half a million by, by April May. This would drop gasoline to its lowest price point of a generation, 15 years. And this would also involve the U.K. repaying back a $530 million debt to Iran that's been holding in bands. They've been holding their Iranian oil money in their banks for many, many years in exchange for a detained U.S. citizen in Iran to be released. So... I'll have more about this oil later in this recording. But there you go. That is why six stimulus is needed. To solve these economic issues. Number one, oil. Number two, wheat. What is number three? China. China remains economically unstable tonight. And will remain economically unstable for weeks to come. Why? Because millions and millions of insiders believe that China is no longer a feasible environment for you to invest in. A series of new reports in today, including from the CEO of BlackRock, says that globalization, globalization in this environment is no longer an issue. What happened? Many people used to look to foreign investments. And now that seems very problematic as Japan, under Xi, China under Xi, now seems to be an unstable environment where you could wake up one morning and suddenly your investment's gone. That's issue number one for China. Issue number two for China is that it's facing a major lockdown because that COVID subvariant Omicron really crippling its economy right now. Number three. China has major supply chain issues potentially for us. And number four, China has still not promised not to give money to Russia to undo our sanctions against Russia. Very problematic across the board. The biggest part of the six stimulus that makes me most scared is the banks. U.S. banks have not revealed yet to us across the board how much of an investment they have in that Russian debt. And this is big because guess what? If that Russian investment in that debt is as big as we think it is, then this could send us into major trouble. The issue at hand stems from what happened during the Biden-Obama administration. They came in and their initial job was to solve a banking implosion. What had happened? Banks became unstable at the end of the George Bush Jr. administration and Obama and Biden had to stabilize the banks. Do they have to do it again? This is the part of the equation we don't know. We do not know when we see ahead of time what those Q2 and Q3 corporate earnings reports will say from the U.S. banks. Are they unstable? Are they going to post major economic losses for investments in Russian debt or equity? And how big will it be? This is the problem. The Russian debt is about to become valueless. U.S. economists now believe that Russia's economy is about to become the next Cuba. And if you have a bond in Russia, it may not be payable. It may default. And if you have that investment, guess what? Good luck getting a penny from it. Now, the other part of the equation is that April 4th date. Vladimir Putin has an April 4th date to make his debt repayments. He may have made the March 16th date with two interest rate payments, but he's not going to make April 4th, in my prediction. It's $2 billion of repayment. Oh, boy. That is why you need six stimulus. And that is why it's such a big meat and potato this recording. Because, folks, this is a stimulus package you want to watch. Six stimulus is absolutely the stimulus package you want to watch. In my prediction, it will be the largest stimulus package you have seen Ever. Yes, that is my prediction. The largest stimulus package before the first stimulus was the bomb, the Obama Biden package to save the banks. But this is not about interest rates. This is not about uh, Vladimir Putin. This is not about Jay Powell. This is about Vladimir Putin and a recession. And no one wants this economy going to recession or any of our partner allies. Now, let me go over the details of something that unfolded just minutes ago, and I have a laugh with you in store. Yes. Congressional leaders have introduced a new MSC check bill. Now, do not celebrate. Do not celebrate. I'll tell you why. It shows an illogicalness among legislators, and we always have to have a laugh. Legislators have introduced a new bill 
Democrats that you could call the a stimulus package. I'm going to call it a joke. Why? First of all, the amount. Monthly stimulus checks. How much? $100. <laughs> Why don't we just do $12? What is it for? Gasoline. Oh. Now let's take a laugh. What is the concept? The concept is that you cannot afford gasoline at the pump, so they can give you $100 a month. Uh, what Do congressional leaders just drive once a month? <laughs> I can't even say this with a straight face. Most gasoline gas tanks in the United States are 15 to 20 gallon gas tanks. Let's do that analysis. Number one. Number two, the national average of gasoline by AAA currently in the United States is 425 a gallon, I think, tonight. We'll have the latest details in that membership newsletter tonight. So $4 times 20. That's $60 every time you fill up the gas pump. And that's the national average, folks. That's unleaded. California, the, ash, the California average is about $6 a gallon. So 6 times 20 is, yeah, 120 What's going on here? So they want to give you gasoline checks for one time, for one day? You drive one day a year, and yeah, one pump, one filling up the gas tank, and that's it. Good luck. You can walk the rest of the month. First of all, it's ridiculous. Second of all, it shows, them, shows us that legislators simply just do not run numbers. $100? <laughs> now, many Americans have been buying trucks over the last couple of years, and their gas tanks are not 20-gallon ga gas tanks. And their gas, their gas price when they fill up the truck or the pickup truck is not $100. In some cases, $100 may just be a nice little, you know, pitta. That is the part of the equation that doesn't make sense. The second part of the equation also doesn't make sense is that... The president of the United States is doing a deal with Iran. <laughs> if the president is doing a deal with Iran and is getting all that oil into circulation by April or May, then you don't need a check for oil. As soon as I saw this news report that the Democrats were introducing legislation, you need a check for gasoline, it made me think, wait a second, is the Iranian deal off? <laughs> it shows you that they aren't even up to current events with their own president. Really troubling. It stays like this, and I think to myself, what's going on with these people? All right, let me finally go over the third part of the equation, which is some governors across the country will be doing six stimulus. I've been doing that recording on this channel since day one of the, uh, of the six stimulus, which is about March 8th. I told you six stimulus will be international, federal, and state. International will be an allegiance between Germany, France, and the United States. National will be Joe Biden doing something. And then statewide will be state by state. California, Governor Ga California, Governor Gavin Newsom has introduced a potential bill that would have two checks per car, I don't know, you know, five cents, whatever it is. What's my takeaway tonight? <laughs> my takeaway tonight is exactly what you're about to think I'm going to say. Is that the reason why the membership of the channel that wins day in, day out is we don't cash $200 checks. Come on, folks, that's ridiculous. We cash $45,000 checks. Let's look at where we are tonight. The fourth stimulus add-on of $15,000, $80,000 checks have landed, and members like Mark are cashing $66,000 checks, not $100 checks, which don't even pay for half of a car of gasoline. <laughs> Number two, those MSE checks have landed for renters and homeowners across the board, and members of this channel have been cashing twenty, forty, fifty, hundred thousand dollars $100,000 checks in the case of, uh, in case of um, that one viewer, Olivia, $150,000. $150,000 checks, not $150 checks from those third stimulus MSC checks. Number three, six stimulus will happen and it will be big and bold and will be needed. The new, every time you hear legislators talk about minuscule checks, you think to yourself, what are they thinking? We saw this in, this, we saw this in December 2020. When in the thick of the pandemic, we got a stimulus check into the CR, but it was $600. And immediately social media heated up with people saying, what is $600 going to do? You remember the memories across the board. Finally, across tonight, a lot of things happening. And what I want you to know is the following. I want to really applaud the membership of this channel for last night's video. On the March 23rd, 2022 video, which aired last night, and I was in the live chat, I have never seen a night where I applauded the membership so much. The members were in the live chat saying, I have my pen and paper ready, and they were taking notes. Even long-standing members who never took notes were taking notes because they understood that it's very elaborate. 
We have a third stimulus that passed last year, but it's sending out new checks today, on top of the check you had before. We have a fourth stimulus that's not law yet with the Build Back Better Act, but fifteen dollars to $80,000 checks are going out. Even as I say this, it may sound a lot for someone to say. That's why you got to write it down. You got to write it down slowly at a time. The greatest things about a YouTube video is you can always replay it. Remember, you can go into the video, get that button, and just replay that sentence where I said something. The other part of the video I loved a lot was that the viewers were listening intently. When you have a video that spans an hour and seven stimulus packages, you got a lot of checks to cover. And I love how the viewers understood that their checks will come up in the video. Stay put, it's coming up later in the video, whether it's the MSC or the seven stimulus, the student loan debt forgiveness, or that big money for oil and wheat and grain. Yeah, it was coming up and viewers sat patiently. I loved it across the board. Finally, I want to reflect on something which I brought up in one exchange with one viewer. I can't remember her name, but it may have been Annabelle. It was a wonderful exchange. The viewer asked me, so when we're talking about where we are right tonight, early, mid-March 2022, we're talking about these MSC checks, we're talking about these four stimulus checks, and then we're talking about the six stimulus coming on the horizon in April. Are you saying with most of these, I have to pick up a pen or paper and use my phone? And I said, yes, you do, you do. You have to go somewhere to do it. And the viewer said, but I didn't have to do that last time. My answer was, yeah, but you had to do it originally. Let's take a step back. This channel launched on April 25th, 2020, and it's approaching its two-year anniversary in just a few days. When this channel launched, the cop topics covered on this channel were first stimulus topics, EIDL, PUA, UI, and similar. That's where we were at the time. I wasn't covering anything else stimulus, like a stimulus check. Then, in the months that came around, we heard about a second stimulus package, never became a law. Eventually, a $600 check was sent out in that CR. You didn't have to do anything. Then, third stimulus. I had that preview as detail on this channel, and I said to the viewers, I can get you on average $15,000. The average view of this channel got $45,000. Along the way, new members or viewers came in this channel after that. And here's what you need to know. First stimulus. Some Americans may have gotten a $1,200 check from the first stimulus package, but most viewers of this channel who were watching the videos at that time on this channel didn't get $1,200. They got $120,000 or $150,000, because you had to go somewhere, a website or a telephone number, to get that EIDL grant, to get that EIDL loan, to get that PUA, to get that UI. If you wanted big money, you had to do something. It always was that way on the first stimulus package. Then, when that third stimulus package became a law, elsewhere, people may have rejoiced with that $14 check, my viewers didn't. They rejoiced with $45,000 checks because I showed them they had to do several things to get the big money, not just $1,400. It's a night like this where Congress says, we'll send you out automatic, automatic small checks of $100, and we just want to sit back and say, thank you. I'll watch, I won't watch for it to land. In the meantime, I'll be cashing the big checks that Allied got me. Third stimulus MSC checks, averaging $2,000 a month for a year. Four stimulus checks, fifteen dollars to $80,000. The homeowner's grant, all detailed in the membership newsletter. It's at the top of the chat and in the pinned comment that you can become a member. It's delivered Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert system. I always called this channel the advanced channel. This was never the basic channel. This was the channel to take you to another level because I knew you could do it, and you have. You created the idea of an MSC third stimulus. I did not create the idea. I said, do a round of three to four months. You said, no, I want to do 12 months. I want to do make it an MSE. I said, get third stimulus 45,000. No, you did 100,000. You've always done it better. So I applaud you tonight for all your incredible success stories. Keep on improving, keep on pushing, because when you do it, you help other people and you help one another. With that tonight, the refugee care crisis overseas continues to grow. The situation in Ukraine is still unstable. And most of my predictions, unfortunately, remain as they are still correct. I had predicted the Russian-Ukrainian war would be several months, if not several years, not several days and not several weeks. Tonight, we're in week two of the week, excuse me, we're in month two of that battle. And it has no inherent deadline, no inherent end in sight. That's number one. Number two, the Western allies showing, certainly showing their 
military support for one another with those ancient countries, but they have a lot of economic work to do. And they all move very quickly. They certainly move very quickly in getting an incredibly historic meeting in Brussels between three different groups, NATO, G7, and EU, all within just days. Now they got to do the work. As Janet Yellen so impressed with, with in 2021, they have a lot of work to do very quickly because if they don't, yes, we're going to recession. And this is a major concern. Vladimir Putin may be sitting back and laughing at all of us because ultimately his act of war may send us into a massive wartime economy. You don't want that. Additionally, it's times like this that we come together as a family. As the president went overseas in Brussels, it showed incredible camaraderie, incredible happiness as people have commonality to make sure there's no food shortage, to make sure there's no inflation, to make sure there's no recession. We have equal causes and equal concerns, and those equal concerns bring us together as families, not just in the United States, not just across the continent, but internationally across the board as well. It's that type of spirit that truly embodies the purple power every night on this channel. And with that, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow night for America's Most Watched Show in Primetime, Evenings at Light for Financial News. And with that, join me night, every night at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Shows continue throughout the evening with Evenings at Light at 5. 6 o'clock is Evenings Countdown. 7 is Stream Stimulus. 8 o'clock is Evenings Extra. And our new hit show, Sunset at 9 o'clock. It's every night at 5 o'clock you want to be here because this is where the big money happens. Whether it's a measly $100 check for gasoline that doesn't even pay for the Pinto to get down the road that we pass off and move along. Or it's a six stimulus package. The big money at issue for seven stimulus with that student loan debt forgiveness teeing up for a deciding ma major move by the president in on May 2nd. The question where Vladimir Putin would turn off oil to Germany overnight that could send us into recession and whether that six stimulus package would be lined up and whether that gasoline prices that continue to surge to 127 as an Iranian deal is hatched, what will happen with that six stimulus package that is still not formidified? Then the wheat and grain situation getting bad by the minute and the wheat and grain prices growing by the hour. I'll have more about that tomorrow. But for now, stay informed, stay focused, have a beautiful evening. And from my family to yours, stay with Ally for more.